Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I'm gonna to present to you a unique drill through scenario. One where you have a drill through page that has a slicer that isn't related to any of the drill through filters in the drill through well, or that is passed from the drill through page. However, the end user would want that slicer to basically reset each time they came back to this drill through page like you see here. Now, the magic actually comes from using bookmarks in this case. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So let's go ahead and explore the report a little bit. So in this scenario, what we have is a situation where somebody would want to come in, right click here, select drill through, and go to a page with additional details. And then notice over on the right, a few filters got passed through for color and class. One, we have keep all filters on, and we have two filters that came through from that matrix table. However, there's also an additional slicer at the top of this page. And now this slicer here has a user scenario where if they were to come up to this and go ahead and make a selection, let's just assume they selected a value here, now, if they went back to the main page and they did another drill through action, just pick another scenario, drill through to marketing details. Notice that the slicer up here reset. The filters were cleared, even though there's nothing from either color or class that would reset it. It is a completely independent slicer on the page. The effect is still being achieved of clearing that every time, which is a user scenario that I had for a project I was working on. And I wanted to figure out how to do this. And again, the trick for this comes from a little bit of clever uses of bookmarking. So we're going to go ahead and see actually how to use a bookmark to configure this rather than using the drill through itself to do the reset. So the key in here comes from what the back button is doing. If we click on this, we'll notice that there's an action. And normally for a drill through page, the action is set to back. However, we actually have a bookmark called drill through clear filters. So let's go ahead and walk through how I built this bookmark and what it's doing. I'm going to navigate back to the report page and I'm going to open up my selection and my sync slicers and my bookmarks pane. Notice in my selection pane that there is something called drill through distributor. So this is actually a slicer on the page that is hidden. I'm going to unhide it. You can see that it is cleared at the moment. I'm going to select it. Notice a very important feature. It is both synced on the report and the marketing details page. Now this will work whether or not you have one or multiple slicers on your drill through page that you want to reset essentially. All you need to do is make sure that there's a copy of them synced onto the main page that you're drilling through from, but just hidden. So let's walk through creating the bookmark again, just so you can see it. We want to make sure that the slicer has all of its filters cleared and in the selection, whether or not you have one or multiple slicers, you want them to be actively selected. And now we're going to come up to bookmarks and select add. I'm going to call this drill through filter test. And now let's configure it. We're going to go ahead and keep data on because I want the slicer's data to reset. I don't care about display because we want to keep it hidden. So turn that off, open this up again. Current page needs to stay on because that will navigate us back to this page. And now most importantly, we want to make sure that selected visuals is chosen because that makes sure that none of these other visuals or objects from the page get updated by accident. So having that enabled, there we are. Go ahead and hide the slicer again and close these back down. Come back to my marketing details page. Now let's again explore the back button here and open up the action section. And as long as I have that bookmark that's assigned to it, it's going to do two things. It will navigate back to that page as we've configured it, but it will also reset that slicer that is synced on that page, which means that that slicer also syncs back to this page and resets it here. And initially this took me a little bit of time to figure out. I first approached it by trying to think how can the drill through reset the slicer? And really I couldn't figure out a way to do that. But then I realized the other half of any drill through functionality is always going back to the main page with the back button. And those can have bookmarks assigned to it. And that's when I realized, oh, I could use a bookmark to basically reset when you go back. So that way the next time you do the drill through, it's already been reset for you. So even though we select something here, again, just as the example, make a selection, hit that back button, and now if I just simply navigate via the ribbon at the bottom, you can see that that has been reset because it's using that bookmark action. So hopefully this was something that you found useful or you can implement in your reports, but it just at the end of the day means that there's a few less slice of selections and clear filter options that your end users have to click. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog pals page using the link down below.